Jinkoya Yashimas. On this episode of Dunkin' Bites, we make fork to frame. Once the cups are installed, you want to check your frame for how many spaces you're going to need on your stereo. So do a dry fit first. But first, use Wednesday's Andes to clean up all that extra goo. Don't use Tuesdays, because we never talk about Tuesdays undies. As you can see, we've got a little bit of space there. So we're going to need to throw more dump parts at it. So we'll throw in three spaces. These spaces are looking a little dull. So they need to be polished up to be good enough to go on the Polished Like a Schoolboy GT. Now you could spend some time and hand polish these, but as a wise lady once said, ain't nobody got time for that. So I'm going to throw more washers, a bolt, and a drill at this. Now what you want to do is make the arrangement here where you got the spaces in the middle and the washers on the outside and the bolts and nuts all locking it together. Shove that bolt into your drill, lock it down. Uh, as I was saying, lock it down and you've got yourself an instant lay. Now if you wanted a nice brush finish, you can go to your kitchen and get your your Stilo brush from the sink. And you can use that. But don't forget to put it back after you're finished. Now you can see and after just a few seconds how shiny things get. Wait until we put the polish on. Old socks are best I find. And a little bit of this goo. Once you've finished getting rid of the marks off the concrete floor, you should have something like that. Refit your spaces to see how your handiwork looks. In this case, perfection! And that concludes this episode of Dunking Bikes. Join me next time when we continue the build of the Polish Schoolboy GT.